many decision makers have realized that uh, science and technology and innovation are the means to achieve uh, socioeconomic development. The efforts of uh, science and technology champions and international agencies in encouraging politicians and decision makers to pay more attention to science uh, are starting to pay off in some countries. Um, this is manifested by the launch of institutions, initiatives, and more funding in some Arab states in research and development. Over the last five years, we saw a number of uh, major higher education science and technology initiatives uh, developing, including the King Abdullah University of Science and Technology in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, the Masdar Institute and Complex in Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates. There are um, a couple of initiatives in Egypt. Uh, there is the Sesame Project in Jordan, which is a UNESCO initiated and UNESCO led regional scientific uh, project involving a number of countries. The Sesame Project is the brainchild of a number of UNESCO and Jordanian scientists' decision makers. Um, it's, uh, it's the home of uh, Bessie, the uh, synchrotron uh, that was decommissioned in Europe, yet recommissioned in Jordan. It will be a hub for young scientists and researchers from the region uh, to undertake joint research and and uh, basically do what they normally uh, have to do in Europe, they can do that in the Middle East. There is um, little collaboration between the higher education sector, universities, industry, and the private sector. Um, Scientists, whether in the higher education sector or the few scientists who are in the private sector doing privately funded R&D, uh, have um, very little cooperation going in the domain of joint research projects or science and technology. The reason for this is that um, government bureaucracy is seen to be um, uh, distant from the private sector. The private sector, whether industrial or manufac manufacturing or trading, tends to be um, um, concerned with profit, naturally, whilst the public sector is there supposedly to provide goods and services to the community, to the public. The reason for that is that um, the private sector in the majority of Middle Eastern country that can undertake research is fairly new. We have to remember that the private sector in the Middle East, in Arab states, uh, is um, uh, a phenomenon or um, big companies only really surfaced like over the last 50 years or so. And the scientific manpower is not there within the ranks of the people working for the private sector to undertake research. And there isn't sufficient funding allocated by the private sector to uh, research and development. Although some countries, including Jordan, for example, specify by law that each company has to spend something like 2% of its net profit on research and development.